Hey, Grand Rising YouTubers, my fellow gods, goddesses, kings, queens. I'm about to bring you a message from Spirit. Let's give them something to talk about. Talk to me, Spirit. What messages do you have for the overall? Can I get one more card? The message that I'm receiving, first of all, I want to say thank you for following me. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for sharing for those who shared. This is not going to have a date because they want this to find the person at the time they need to hear this message. Some of y'all have so much potential, spiritual potential, that y'all just sitting there and letting it go to waste. You was not blessed with this gift just to sit on it. You was blessed to come back to help those that need to be it. Some of y'all are uh, great grandparents. Grandparents were indigo children. And then they had your parents. And some of them were indigo children. And then when they had you, you became crystal children. And some of y'all crystal children are having crystal children and rainbow children. These were reincarnated angels and starseeds that came back to help heal the earth because the earth is going in shambles is going in it is it's corrupt so our children are our future a lot of the people that were gifted as indigo and some that's crystal perished and they was not sharing their gifts so spirit is saying that y'all need to step up and show the world your potential Show those that are lost is trying to find their way that's just waking up like used to be when you was first waking up. Some of y'all were born already woken with all your clairs. Some of y'all are, are just now finding out um, that y'all have clairs. So y'all have so much potential and spirit wants y'all to embrace that and go forth in your journey. They're not going to make it easy for you. They're going to always make your life hard. You're going to always have traumatic experience. It's because you're part of the chosen one. So you don't have no choice to go forth in your gifts and your potential. Some of y'all are at a standstill. It's because y'all lost. Y'all wandering around because y'all know y'all don't fit in with this class of people. Y'all don't spit, uh, fit in with this class of people. Y'all trying to find your all. Those that... You will be led to the right people, what I'm trying to say. Those words are meant for the people that's meant to hear. A lot of y'all are speaking to people that's not awake. They sleeping, so they're not going to understand what you're talking about. They're going to say, you're weird, you're crazy, get out of here, something's wrong with you, because you're preaching to the wrong people. So they want you to understand you in a standstill. It's because they letting you wander around till you feel like you can't anymore until you say, okay, I'll surrender. Lead me to the right people that's going to help me. A lot of y'all are afraid to go through that gateway, that dimension. When you go through meditation, meditation is when you sit in silence and listen. Prayer is when you're talking to God. Meditation is when God is talking back and your ancestor guides, your spirit guides, and all those. Sometimes you get Pallades. Sometimes you get the seven sisters. Some of y'all are waiting because y'all connected to the three stars, the Orion. Under the Orion belt, there's three stars. One of those three stars is the seven sisters. Some of y'all are connected to the seven sisters, and they want you to connect with them so you can go through this portal to get to the gateway so y'all can see the unicorns so y'all can see pikachu so y'all can see the gnomes and fairies and different things like that that they write about in movies they write around in comic books where do you think they got their information from it's because they actually see it so they put it on paper so people who dream their reality can dream the same dream as them a lot of y'all are having patience are very are running out of patience because saying why is this why is that why is this once again i have to put emphasis on this in the spirit realm time does not exist if you fully go full throttle and if you have to take like some type of hallucinating hallucinating uh herbs like dmt shrooms or marijuana to get you to that 
gateway, then you will see those things that you're seeing are truly real. So a lot of y'all are being impatient because you're like, why is this and this and this? You have to understand your journey. You cannot compare your spiritual journey to this person or to that person. Your spiritual journey, your level of arising and achieving is totally different from mine and other people. Just like you have a children that one person gets it quicker than the other person. That's how it is spiritual journey. Sometimes you're not ready for them to put everything on you because you honestly you couldn't make it you couldn't handle it like people trying to force their third eye you have to let your body get you prepared for what you're about to see because if you force your third eye open a lot of this shit you're going to see you're not ready for it you're going to go crazy you're going to have a nervous breakdown you want to scream you're going to want to be on drugs because it's hard you're going to be afraid because you can't sleep what you see when you awake is the same thing when you see what you're dreaming. Is that real? Let me break down a little thing about angels. Angels don't have eyeballs like you and I. Only time they have eyeballs is when they manifest into a human. When they pick a human avatar or they become an animal. Sometimes angels will transform into an animal too to cross your path. That's why they said uh, pay attention to the omens and signs. True angels, their eyes are black like the universe like the galaxy okay they don't have a soul okay they have both sex they have a penis and a vagina that's why when you pick up the energies it's male and female a true angel is not what you see in books or on tv they not like that they can come to you that way to make you comfortable so you won't be afraid but a real angel is not very pretty okay they, they do not have eyeballs it's like when you look at an angel, it's like you're looking at the galaxy, the universe, okay? So a lot of y'all need to be patient. And reason why your gifts is not elevated is because they prepping you. They preparing you for what you need to know and see so you can help others. A lot of y'all are getting y'all fulfillment, which means y'all getting y'all abundance that's coming to you. Abundance can be your health getting better. Abundance is, be, is breaking generational curses. Abundance can mean God adding life to your years. Abundance is your children graduating, your children living to see 21 because there's a lot of children not making it to see 21. Abundance is more than just money. Abundance is fulfilled. Y'all cup is being fulfilled at this moment. So enjoy the stillness as you can, because when the eclipse come June 10th, the solar eclipse, some people, spiritual people are going to feel it more than other people. Like when the blood moon, some uh, spiritual people felt it more than other people. Y'all starting to wake up. Y'all starting to see the truth because um, prepare for something in January. I keep dreaming about this. Prepare for something in January. It's going to be a major war. Things are going to be happening. So they waking all y'all up so y'all can lead the people to the truth so y'all can help save this world because a lot of people are going to need it. That's why some people are refusing the shot and some people are. That's why some people are getting more healed than others and some people is not. It's because of your calling. Under this, when you have discovering the truth, you stand in the light of the truth. You are the truth. That's why you've been prepared for this journey. That's why it's being hard. It's like when soldiers are going through boot camp. It's not easy. Don't make it there where you filing your nails and doing all this, preparing you for world, for war, war, for the world war. Thank you for the war. They prepare you mentally, physically, emotionally. They prepare your body on the outside and your body on the inside. They want you to get healthy because when all this stuff start happening your immune system is going to be strong to handle it overcoming obstacles right now you can overcome anything you have that peach again so some of y'all need to see what the spiritual meaning of the peach because there was a peach for fulfillment which means abundance and as you can see there's a full moon and there's a peach here a peach is very sacred to a lot of gods and goddesses of the fruit Okay, you can over you can overcome anything. It's because they prepare you passion and pleasure savor your life. In other words, take your time. Spirit is taking their time with you. Take your time because they prepare you just like when you find out you're pregnant. It doesn't happen overnight. As soon as you find out you're pregnant, you're not going to have the baby. It takes time to grow, and it grows in darkness. Right now, a lot of y'all are growing in darkness because the spiritual world is preparing you 
for Mother Gaia to give birth to you, to walk in your calling, for you'll be able to be that powerful soldier, that warrior that she made it, so you can help fight off these low vibrational entities. You got to remember we're always in spiritual warfare. The most important thing is you have to keep grounding. Go deep. Explore your roots. Connect to your ancestors. I have to put emphasis on this. Everyone think the ancestors that you knew upon this earth that passed on are the ones that's uh, guiding you through the spirituality, through this journey. No, it's not. Because some of our ancestors that died that we do know died of a religious mind frame. So that's how they was programmed. So they in like an ancestral pool and your ancient ancestors are coming down and helping them, guiding them so they will be able to heal and come back in the ancestral pool to guide you. A lot of y'all need to give back those ancestors, that incest, that poverty, that, that drunkenness, that abusiveness, whatever the traumatic experience that you went through, you need to give it back to them so they can heal. That's why it's called rest in peace because a lot of your ancestors and not resting in peace it's because the household is broken there's there's separation there's no union big mama dies so there's no more holiday dinners y'all just say fuck it so she's not resting in peace so she needs y'all that's why y'all called the chosen one that's why they chose you to break generational curses that's why you never fit in you're never going to fit in you're always going to be the black sheet of the family it's because they preparing you so now is the time for y'all to get prepared this road is not easy god never said it was going to be easy but it's going to be fair god always take care of his people y'all never have to worry for nothing under the bottom of the deck is withdrawal some of y'all are withdrawing from your ancestors some of y'all were drawing from the spirituality because you said this shit is too hard you're not weak you quick to give up give up sorry so your ego has to die this is what's holding you once you let ego die it's it's smooth sailing from I take that back. It's never going to be smooth sailing, but it's going to be easier. You have the get curious card. Get curious. Let that anointing, let that bird fly. This is also a dove. This is also a raven. A raven is a messenger from the earth from the spirit world they have the iq as a human they can mimic a human you might hear somebody call your name it could be a raven it could be a crow because they have that ability to imitate humans they have that ability to speak a lot of y'all that went through that transformation through the blood moon has something to do with your gemini if you have gemini in your house it could be 12th house, 11th house, whatever. Gemini is the yin and the yang. So if you have a going through that dark night of the soul right now, it's because, and you start to see animals come to you more, it's because they recognizing that blood moon or that transformation of that Gemini, your sun, your soul. So the Gemini represents the soul. So they start to see your soul. So if you're getting a lot of communication, it's because you're almost in your godlike consciousness, which is Christ. A lot of y'all crystal children means Christ. Crystal means Christ. So y'all have that godlike energy. That's why you have gifted children. That's why you're gifted. You have transmute. They want you to transmute all that anger, all that emotion, all those emotionals that you're doing, all the emotions. Happiness, anger, depression, sad, fatigue. They want you to transmute that. If you're feeling like you're waking up positive and all of a sudden that negative started creep, creep, creeping in, you need to go outside. You need to dance. Someone told me, do Tony, Tony. I feel good. So play that song. Do James Brown. I'm black and I'm proud. Or the big payback. Or do the, uh, the four tops or anything like that to get it going those 1960s songs 1950s songs they wasn't always depressing like the music now go back old school and start doing that the 1970s song i am a super woman you have to play those songs to get you out of that funk they want you to transmute that just like that honey bee that working bee that's how you get honey because they constantly 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 working they want you to start doing that your power they want you to transmute all that energy into that and get your power back you need to call your back power back from the universe from people places and things they all hold energy they all hold your power even if you touch stuff they want you to start transmuting that energy into that let's get at the bottom of the deck you have a cycle ending and a cycle beginning can i get what they want to know information whatever you want to know about just get curious card spirit you're planting seeds. You're getting curious. You're planting seeds. Continue to plant the seed. They Okay, they showed me the vision. And I know y'all seen that picture how they show you Jesus knocking on the door. Okay? 
that's the vision that I'm getting. It's your job to plant the seed to the people that's not sleep. Quit wasting energy for people that's not sleep, the people that's not awake, because you're wasting your time. Go find people that think like you, speak like you. You will be drawn to them. The soul recognized. So your job is to, there's a lot of them waking up now that really need you. So it's your job to plant that seed. You got to remember that you can't tell them and overwhelm them because they're not at your level. So you have to talk to them sort of like on a four-year-old. But don't talk to them like they're stupid. Talk to them how people used to talk to you. What's up with this transmute spirit? What do they need to know about this transmute? When you transmute that energy, you're getting closer to your higher consciousness, okay? Under the transmute, you have the hermit. What I said, when you transmute that energy, you're going into your higher consciousness, your godlike conscious consciousness. So if you're an indigo child, crystal child, rainbow child, star seed, uh, light bringers, palladies, whatever you want to call it, earth angel, you transmuting that and you're getting connected to God, the universe. So they want you to transmute that energy, energy in meditation and get into that God-like consciousness because you elevate and higher. You have to go deep within. So you have to go in meditation. You have to be introverted sometimes. If y'all don't know what introverted means, you have to be alone, alone to find yourself so you can be spoken to and so you can hear. What do they need to know about this power? Under this power card, you have the nine of cups. Because you're going to start rejoicing. Because you're taking your power back and your energy back from those low vibrational people. From them places, from them things. Those businesses, clothes, whatever you want to call it. You're taking your energy back. You're taking your power back. Walk in your power. Walk in your throne. And then that's how you're going to be the king of love. The king of wealth. The king of truth. The king of the universe. That king, that queen, that god, that goddesses, that high priest, high priestess, that voodoo priest, that voodoo priestess, whatever the fuck you call yourself. The shaman, the truth, whatever you call yourself. You taking back your power and you own your throne. You walk in that divinity. Some of y'all need to meditate. If y'all lucky and live by the water, some of y'all need to meditate by the water. That could be river, lake, ocean, whatever. Y'all need to start um, meditating by that water. Some of y'all need to take a vacation near the water. It doesn't have to be a Caribbean island if you can't afford it. But you can go to South Carolina. You can go to uh, Savannah, Georgia. You can go to Florida, California, wherever you are near the water. Um, if you live in Vermont, you can go near the water, the Bay area. You can go in that area because y'all have the strength. Some of y'all are seers. Some of y'all are prophets. Some of y'all are very, um, you're very psychic. They want you to step in that. You have the strength. You have the strength. Be meek as a lamb, but fear, fearless like a lion. Was there anything else? No. Once again, thank you. If this resonated with you, I shall. If you don't, don't force it. Okay? Don't try to make it fit. Okay? I hope this message enlightened you. Please like, share, comment subscribe. Y'all be blessed. Namaste. I see y'all.